everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is a Christmas dinner that I'm gonna do today. Uh, right here we do have a green wise rib roast bone in tight for easy carving. Uh, this is right here, 19 pounds. 19 pounds of pure love here all right i'm gonna show you guys um here we go prime rib okay it's all tied in in here all right so one of the things that i, I do here i like to do here is i'm not gonna cook the whole thing and the reason why is I'm gonna cook a little bit, probably maybe half. And then the other half, what I do, I do steaks. And if someone wants steaks, we do those in the grill. And also you can enjoy pan rib, all right? Open this and there's your ribs right there. Whole thing of rib. I'm gonna cut it. This is the here, okay? Small here in this area. We're gonna use that for steaks. Go ahead and cut them right here. This right here, you gotta go ahead and use this for nice, beautiful steaks, okay? Now you can cut the steaks any size you want. Very thin, very thick, whatever you want in here, all right? Garlic salt. Go across in there, as you see, look. And be generous, like I said, with it, okay? You wanna have a good crust in here. Pepper, olive oil. And what you wanna do is just brush this guy a little bit here. As you see, do the sizing here too. Make sure you get that nice olive oil in there. Okay, as over here. When you put your oven at 450 degrees, you gotta get that nice, beautiful crust. You're good to go. Get your little um, rosemary. All right, here we go. Spill that in there. A good chopping here. And this is what it does, it gives a good The oven is preheat right now. And I'm gonna move them now, 400 degrees, okay? So right here, okay? And spread that in here. That's it. And you're gonna put the, set this guy right here, right there, okay? What you're looking for right there. 450. Here we go. Now I'm gonna show you the best au jus ever. Get you some carrots. And right in the oven. We do have here Brussels sprouts, garlic salt, sprinkle some of the chicken bouillon in there. What I want to do is add some butter in there and water. So what do you want to do? You want to create a good seal and so they get nice and soft. So go ahead and grab your potatoes. Okay, go ahead, cut them in half. One thing that I like to do, creamy horseradish. 
about one full tablespoon. We're gonna do about half of this container, sour cream. Squeeze that in there. Fresh parsley. Excellent, delicious, creamy harsh redders. So then we'll our fresh parsley. Back in the refrigerator. Oh shoot. So here's your ribs, all right? They are nice and tender they are. Here. See? Give it another 15 to 20 minutes in there on medium low. And then we're gonna strain that juice, move, remove the vegetables, remove the ribs, and whatever's left, that's gonna be your nice, delicious au jus. Let's go ahead and remove okay there's our ribs okay. nice we're gonna remove this all those veggies that he right here okay and as you see, you have a beautiful, beautiful au jus for your beef, okay? I place them in here. Now, look. Delicious, delicious ribs. So, what you do, you add in. potatoes like this I break them a little bit and not too much we're gonna add some garlic salt okay and uh, comes in this little tiny package and I sprinkle that in here all right and what it does it gives them a little extra flavor a little color here and the reason is because when you pour your butter down okay all the seasonings is gonna go right through the potatoes. And as you see, I melt a whole stick, a full stick of butter. Base those potatoes with you. And now, um, this recipe is being for many about this beautiful potato. Oh. A little bit more here. The most delicious potatoes ever okay and as you see look at them all right now what i like to do is take the water here out of the bottom drain that water as you see 45 minutes look very nice very tender. Wait, all the way in there. Once again, a full stick of butter. Move them a little bit, so all these goody flavors 
stays there. And you have this wonderful Brussels sprouts. Standing. Delicious, beautiful, nice, juicy, and tender. So we're gonna wait at least 10 more minutes and uh, go ahead and slice this nice, beautiful prime rib. 